Hi, I am Fazir Rujan, one of your presenters at the upcoming Broadcasting Reboot Camp on March 30th at the Positivity Coffee House in Chase Village from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. Now, at this boot camp, one of the subjects that we will cover concerns music. And you may think that's an easy one, play the best music and the listenership will build itself. But unfortunately, that has not been the case for many DJs, podcasters, uh, announcers, as the case may be. Um, it's a bit more complicated, but yet very, very, very simple, much simpler than that. And the simple truth is that mood, M-O-O-D, mood, is significantly more important than music. You see, most people treat the music as the main item that listeners tune in for, but you have to listen or tune in to your listeners' intent. Why do they want that music? They're not, they don't want to listen to the music just for the sake of listening to the music. They want that music to do something for them. So you've got to figure out the why. Figure out why are they tuning in? And if you can figure that out, you'll understand what they want from the music and thereafter be able to play them the music that they want or the music that will give them or put them in the mood that they are hoping to be in. So for instance, if you ask the listener um, what they wanted and they told you good music, ask them what they meant by that or what, what, what good music would do for them. And they would probably tell you things like good music would be music that um, is peppy or music that keeps me awake or music that inspires me. And that's the why you need need to get to what that's the why you need to work toward when you figure that out then you're able to play music based on the root desire of your listener and this is why mood is more important where your listener is where they want to be your music has to take them there you have to know where they are where they would like to be and find the music that can build incrementally to get them from one point to the next the second point that I wanted to make to you is that what you play is not as important as what you play next. You see, anybody can find out the root desire of a listener and say, oh, so you wanna be inspired? Well, this is the most inspiring song that, uh, that, that has ever existed, and you play that song. But then what do you do next? Now that you've gotten a listener's attention, what do you do next? You've played them the song that inspires them. Now that you have an inspired or a motivated listener, what do you do with him or her? Where do you take them next on this journey? And this is the question that only the very best will be able to uh, will be able to answer. This is where the goat, as they say, separate from the sheep. So what you play next, how you build on that mood and how you transition from one mood to the next, how you break moods, how you change moods altogether, the subtlety with which you're able to do that, the smoothness with which you're able to do that is significantly more important than just the music in and of itself. Now, if this has made any sense to you at all and you would like to get any more insights uh, or similar insights on these and other related topics, then feel free to send an email right now to fuzzyent, F-U-Z-Z-E-E-N-T, fuzzyent at gmail.com concerning the Broadcasting Reboot Camp on March 30th. We'll send you the information packet and, uh, well, it's a first-come, first-served basis. So the quicker you register, chances are more likely you would be more, more likely you'd be able to secure your seat, but you've got to act quickly all right so send that email right now and secure your seat for the broadcasting reboot camp on march 30th from 9 a.m till 1 p.m at the positivity coffee house in chase village we hope to see you soon we'll see you there and we are looking forward to sharing all of these and other amazing insights with you for those of you who are interested in traditional or new and emerging uh, digital media streams as well check it out and we'll see you then bye for now